Oh, it's pretty cool going against another team um, instead of hurting each other, you know. <laughs> just joking. But, uh, yeah, I think it's just good work, good competition. Um, you know, just seeing different things schematically um, against different teams. So I just think all around is great work, great competition. You know, it make us better. Yeah, a lot of shifts, a lot of motions, a lot of pre-snap uh, motions, you know. And us as a defense, you know, um, we really got to focus on and hone in on communicating uh, our eyes, leverage, you know, little things like that against the offense, you know, like that, that does a lot of those things. So, you know, that's the main thing we got to work on, you know, just pre-snap communication and eyes and leverage. So. Getting your feet wet in the preseason game last weekend, do you feel pretty much ready for the regular season or still got some more work to do? Or yeah, I mean, I've been ready for the regular season. I mean, uh, you know, every day we've been working towards that uh, for the first game, you know, getting our bodies right, acclimated. So, um, you know, I'm just ready for the first game to kick off. Um, you know, we got great work so far at this uh, training camp. And, uh, you know, we off to a good start, so. What kind of challenge is that when you're, you're facing another team? You haven't really probably done a lot of prep work on them. Because we can just go out and play inside on seven. Uh, I mean, you could, you could uh, study them you know, every so often, um, especially with day offense. But, um, yeah, it's tough, you know, just going into the week, you know, probably studying like two days before or three days prior. But, you know, it was good that we was able to get good work out here, you know, and sort of focus on the little things uh, that they offense like to do and, you know, sort of uh, get a run on it. So tomorrow and by Saturday, you know, we'll know what's going on. What's it like going up against Cooper Cup? You're obviously he was the top team, top quarterback. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I just think he's an all-around great receiver. Uh, he possesses a lot of traits, um, run after the catch, a lot of yak yards. Um, you know what I mean? His route running is very calm, you know, great at the catch point. So, you know, he's a great player as well. So it was good work, you know, just great competing against him. When it comes to recovery, do you do some of the same stuff that you've been doing since high school? Or do you, are you somebody who tries to continually learn? Yeah. Yeah, the more and more I got in, uh, accustomed to recovery, I sort of try to, you know, add new things to my recovery uh, regimen, um, whether it's that cold tub, hot tub, Norman Tech, little things like that to get my uh, legs back under me. And, um, you know, just feeling right, you know what I mean? I don't want to have any nicks or bruises or, you know, little small naggy injuries before the season. So, you know, I hone in and stay on top of the recovery uh, aspect of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jump in, you know. Going to water for a little bit, you know what I mean? It's like a little good feeling for a little minute, but um, then get right back out. <laughs> was the Christmas Day game brought up at all for point of motivation this week? Say it again? The Christmas Day game that you had with them last year. Mm -hmm. Oh. Um, was it brought up uh, at all? Nah, not for real. I mean, uh, we, we try not to look at the past too much. You know, we just try to focus on what's ahead. And obviously, we got a season coming up, so. Uh, we're not trying to focus on that too much, but just focus on getting better, you know, and competing for, you know, what's ahead. Pat, what was it like for you as a defensive guy in the locker room when Randy got introduced there? Guys, he's going to be finally take that next step. Yeah. What'd you say? Randy Bradshaw. Oh, you, yeah, yeah. Coach said he introduced you to the whole team out there. What was that moment like? Um, it was pretty dope. Um, you know, just to understand the culture of Broncos history, but also you know, give props to a dude, um, you know, that played at a high level um, back in his day. Um, he said nine pro ball, uh, pro bowls, um, one of the defensive player of the year. So um, a lot of credit goes out to him, you know, and that's a huge thing for him making the Hall of Fame. So, you know, congrats to him. Did he say anything to you guys or you guys in um, You know, he was just saying um, a lot of things, you know, he can't wait to watch us this year, um, you know, just getting ready for the season. I'm um, giving us tips on how to, you know, strive to that next level to win ball games. So, you know, it's very inspirational. What do you think most significant, what do you think most significant thing is about Broncos history? What's from the history of the past can you guys use? Um, winning. Um, you know, we want to bring that culture back. Winning, um, getting to that next level, to that game. You know what I mean? Um, that's one thing that I've uh, recognized about Broncos history and culture was just winning uh, in that aspect. And we're trying to reach that uh Mount top, so. Um, no, nah, it's just you know a little competition, you know, going after it, you know what I mean. Um, just the heat of the moment, you know, it happens, you know, it's football, so, you know, guys competing out there. Um, sometimes things like that may occur, you know, it's just the name of the game, so 
nothing too crazy. Yeah. Matt, how do you how do you think defensively you guys dealt with the pace that Matt Stafford in particular played with today? Um, we dealt with it uh, well. We made some, you know, in practice adjustments. Um, you know, just reading our keys, um, staying on top of things like that, and uh, making sure that we was communicating as a whole unit. You know, because of the offense, you know, that's so poised and you know that moves at a high pace like that. You know, communication got to be, you know, at an all time high. So, you know, that's the main thing. What do you see different from Russell Wilson this year than maybe you saw last year? Um, same work ethic. You know what I mean? Always a strong, always the type of person that work harder than everybody. Um, I just think he's feeling more confident, more poised as well too. And um, you know, I just see it every day in practice. So um, I can't wait, you know, to see uh, what happens this year. What do you say? Oh, um, you know, he's he's brought a lot of veteran. Um, leadership, you know, aspect of the game. You know, he's played the game for a good good amount of years, you know what I mean? And just having a guy like that uh, in your DB room, um, that helps a lot. You know, you can learn a lot from him. And, you know, he's just playing well. Um, he knows how to read, read his keys. Um, he's very poised, very patient. And, uh, you know, he's just making plays left and right. So it was a great addition. Last question, Brandon. Yeah, you talk about us working harder than everybody. Do you try to match his work ethic? I mean, I guess everyone's hours are their hours. Yeah, um, you know, it's very inspiring when you see a guy like that, you know, work um, harder and harder every day. But, you know, for me, my goals is my goals. You know what I mean? Obviously, I'm going to work hard and this and that. But, um, you know, I try to, you know, work on myself each and every day, uh, whether it's that on the field, off the field. So, you know, I try to have better days than yesterday, you know what I mean? So, you know, I'm trying to strive for perfection and greatness. You know, that's the main thing with me. So, yeah. Thank you. Yeah.